Today, we're gonna to be learning all about Anna Marie Worst. Now, GCN has tons of racing coverage over on the all new GCN Racing Channel. Live coverage, interviews, and features. We wanna help you guys get to know some of the key riders and rising stars of the sport. And Anna Marie checks both those boxes. We were lucky enough to be able to spend a day with her before the cross season officially kicks off. So make sure you guys head over to GCN Racing, subscribe so you don't miss any of the action. We're here today in the Netherlands to meet up with one of the most exciting riders in the cyclocross circuit, a young woman named Anne Marie Worst, who is the former under 23 women's world champ, the current elite European champ. We're gonna sit down with her to hear about what she's got coming up this season and a little bit about who she is and where she came from. 39, Jan and Anne with the dirt bike. Always a little nervous when we're going to someone's house. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Anne-Marie, <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, Thank you for having you. us. Okay. So we're here in your in your home. Yes. Um, in what, space. Can you pronounce the name of where you are from, where where you grew up? Uh, we are in uh, Nunspace. It's yeah, a little village in uh, the Netherlands. Um, yeah, you sl slept in Harderwijk. Yes. It's yeah, the failure it's called. To, a uh, big area and yeah, it's just a little the, village. The north part of the Netherlands. Yes. I mean, for little me, middle, yeah. close to Amsterdam. Yeah, it's for, for me. me just one half hour, I think. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So you've been racing, but also winning because your first uh, world championships as a under 23, I believe, mm -hmm. in cyclocross, you yeah. won. And that was in Luxembourg in Beals. Yeah. Yeah, and um, a friend of mine was, I believe, second to you, Ellen Noble. You guys had quite the duel Yeah, there. it's a really hard, get, uh, excited race. Yeah, that yeah. was an incredible race. I think <laughs> yeah. everyone was just slamming, just watching, yeah. and, like in awe of all of the, just the great battles back mm -hmm. and forth. Like, it yes. didn't happen until the last lap, which yes. is perfect cyclocross. Yes, it was really excited. And, I, tr I tried to ride away in the first lap, but then I crashed, and then we came back together, and then it was Avi was also with us in the first few uh, rounds. And then, uh, yeah, I rode away with Ellen, and then in the last lap, I could ride in the inside of the corner, and then I could ride away. So we're heading over to your training course where I presume you do laps and yeah, maybe, are you training with other riders there? No, much, much of the time I train alone, but here, and if I go to cycle training, then I go to with other riders. This is sweet, Amory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I have to try to take time where I can. No. I think that you've had such a big year last year. I feel like winning the European Championships had to be an incredible feeling for you. Um, tell, tell me, tell me about being you know, being European champion and what that race was like. I watched it yeah. personally and... Yeah, it was a really exciting race. Um, I was going into, because, yeah, I knew I could win a race, but yes, I, yeah, I knew, I've never had to expect it that I can win it. And um, yeah, the race was really exciting. We were with, I think, six riders in front. Yes. And it was really uh, fast scores with sand, uh, part of sand and a forest. And every lap I knew in the forest, I could ride away there. And um, yeah, I think uh, one of the last laps I, I rode away in that forest and then I, I had, I think, still one half lap to go. And I knew the gap between the other riders was just 10 seconds. It was not really big, so I had to go, go full gas. And uh, yeah, it was so, so nice to win the race. And what about coaching? Do you have a do you have a coach that you're working with? Yes, I since this summer I have a new coach. Uh, it's a Belgium uh, guy, yeah. Axel from uh, the team. 
So I have a new trainer. Very cool. And uh, and he, do you guys meet every like often? You guys uh, see each other, and he's like no, he's yelling living, at you. Yeah. <laughs> Go, no, Anna Marie. <laughs> no, he's living in Belgium, so it's a little bit too far. But we have, uh, yeah, we're apping and we have uh, contact with telephone. We're calling, so. Yep. Every day we have contact, so. Excellent. What about like other training that you're doing? Are you doing like, because a lot of riders we're seeing are like in the gym, doing a lot of weightlifting. Yes. Um, also doing, of course, probably some running. Mm -hmm. um, maybe with and without the bike. Yes, now I'm, in the summer I just rode my, my road bike and mountain bike, but I think the last few months before the cycle season, I go to a gym and start with, yeah, weights. Yep. And, uh, and also then I start with running, but then just without the bike. I yes. do it uh, with the bike and with, on the cycles training, but with at home I just run without bike. Yeah, that's better. Because, yeah. Yeah. I and like you can do it, it, but... Yeah. <laughs> and, do, and do you like typically do like two workouts or are you doing something like morning, evening? Um, are you doing everything? I like everything? to train in the morning. Yeah. And if I have to go to the gym or something, then I do that more in the morning and then in the, in the evening to ride on the bike. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, it's nice for the legs. Mm -hmm. Like yes. to get the gym out Otherwise, of your legs. Yeah. Yeah. So much you can't walk. <laughs> no yeah. Way. Yeah. Exactly. And so, uh, where are the uh, where are the European Championships this year? Italy. Italy. But so I don't, uh, which place? I don't know. But in Italy. Oh no! Yes. Your teammate, our hometown. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, yes. that's gonna be. Uh, he's <laughs> gonna be in like peak condition. Yes, I think so. You guys are gonna have to stop texting the week before, <laughs> yeah. I think. I think no, we're a hard fight. No conversation. No. no, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> what are you thinking about for this season? I've, uh, I, I think that you have probably a lot of ambition to do something mm -hmm. different. But what is your? What would you say was your thing that you'd like to work on the most? And what are you looking forward to the most this year? Uh, I think the things when I have to work on is I think the sandy uh, courses because I don't really can do that really good. But yes, last season I was uh, really much on the podium, also in the World Cup, but I never won one World Cup. So I really want to run, win a World Cup uh, next season. So that's really, yes, my goal for the next season. You know, with a lot of the big names in women's cyclocross uh, retiring, so mm -hmm. we have, um, you know, obviously Katie Compton seems like she can go forever, um, yeah. but uh, but she's definitely has to be towards the end of her career. Mm -hmm. um, and we have uh, Helen Wyman who's stopping, Nikki mm -hmm. uh, Brammeyer is stopping. So a lot of the women that have been in the sport for a long time that have mm -hmm. really um, won World Cups have sort of paved yeah. the way for women's cyclocross to be on this international scene with so much coverage and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and now your new generation is coming. So yes. yourself, uh, Ellen Noble, Evie Richards, uh, your teammate, uh, Elise Arzufi, um, uh, Carmen Alvarado, mm -hmm. Lara Vanderschot, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, <laughs> Verdun Scott. Yeah. thank you. Okay, so all of these riders are, uh, are really the new generation. Yes. And so many strong girls coming now, and yeah, I think it's going good for cyclocross. It's really good for sport. I think new uh, girls and new, yeah, all new nationals. So uh, yeah. it's really good, I think. Uh, yeah, for me it is. I think I know now the feeling what you can get if you win the race and if you win a really big race and. Yeah, I really like it. When I wake up, I see my jersey and then, yeah, there's a big motivation for me. And how about inspiration? Like, is there something that you feel like is really inspired you to continue on? Or are there maybe riders that you're looking up to and trying to mm -hmm. emulate and, and, and emulate meaning uh, like copy, but, yeah. but be your own person? So is there someone that you're saying like, hey, I really enjoy not only spending time and racing against this person or if there's even someone in a different sport. I'm just curious if there's someone that's... Nah, I think, you know, maybe Marianne Vos is someone I look, really look up to because, yeah, I know she was a really good, she's a really good rider, but she had really a few setbacks in her career because a few years ago, yes, that was not really going well with her. And now she's coming back so strong. I think that's a really, yeah, motivation for me and she inspired me really much. Anna Marie, I finally uh, get your name right. It's at the end of the video, but it's better late than it's, never. It's, yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm gonna. 
American. Very, you have to give a real clap. Okay, American uh, handshake. handshake. Thank you for spending the day with us. It was really awesome to get to know you, to see where you train, and to learn more about you. So we wish you an awesome season with good luck and lots of victories. Yes, I hope so. Thank you for the video, and uh, I will see you this season. Awesome. Thank you. And if you want more really cool cyclocross interviews and content, check out over here. And if you want to subscribe to GCN, click right in the center.